All right, welcome to the Conservation Commission meeting of April 14, 2021. Meetings normally held at the municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternative means of public access and where required public participation provided in accordance with the governor's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law. I'll call the meeting to order at 7.04 p.m. Um, we have one topic. I'd like to welcome Emily Stockman and Lou so, Tim, and uh, yes. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, we actually do need to state who is who is present. Yeah, we'll do, we'll our... do the present thing. Yeah. Okay. And uh, present is Tim Hilchey. Thanks, Bill. Bill Mayor PC. And Peter. Pete Law. Excellent. Thank you Thank for you. the reminder, Bill. That's okay. <laughs> Trying to Thank move you. this along quickly. All right. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so since we have one meeting well, item, I'm just going to turn this over to Emily and Luke and Natalie to make their presentation and then we can have questions. Great. Thank you so much, Tim. This is Emily Stockman speaking. Can everyone hear me okay? Great. Yeah. <laughs> so first and foremost, I just want to thank the commission very much for organizing a special meeting to address the modification that we're gonna to present to you this evening. Um, embarking on the construction of your own home is uh, stressful to say the least. And when um, things change out in the field and you're advised accordingly by your contractors and, and need to then go through um, conversation with regulators, um, it's just a little more stressful. So we are incredibly grateful um, to be able to speak with you gentlemen this evening. So that's my quick thank you. Um, and now I'm gonna delve into um, the materials. Now, I wasn't sure if I would be able to share screen. Is that possible, Alex? Okay. If you can't, I can. Alex is nodding to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and share. Hopefully everyone is looking at the USGS TOPA map. And this is just an introduction to remind you where the property is. It's on River Road, just a little north of Pocomtuck Drive. And the perennial stream Clap Brook flows along the southerly portion of the property. We have received an order of conditions from you good folks for the construction of, um, or access to, I should say, a single family house, which is outside of the riverfront area and improvements to an existing woods road. Oh, on me. Give me a second. Let's try it again. Touchpad. Touchpad. The original notice of intent before the commission, which was approved, showed that underground utilities were going to be trenched on the northerly side of the driveway. And this brings a good portion of those utilities within the inner riverfront area. We are here before you this evening because upon further exploration, it was determined that in order to trench the electrical services along the driveway and closer to Clap Brook, it would require the blasting of ledge. Um, and this is something that we don't want to do for a number of reasons. Certainly there's cost to consider, but also because of the proximity to Clap Brook, the permittees are requesting a slight modification to the plan. What we're showing now is that as we tie in at River Road, the underground utilities will remain along the side of the driveway as originally proposed. But as we start to approach the steeper um, grades of the driveway, rather than follow along the shoulder, we're gonna veer sort of straight up the hill and then slightly to the north towards the existing home. I am a big fan of this modification for a number of reasons. First and foremost, it avoids blasting within the inner riverfront and closer to Clot Brook. 
It also greatly reduces the linear footage of utilities within the inner riverfront area. And in fact, our approximate location allows us to pull some of the utility outside of the riverfront area completely. I have to move my camera view so I can get to this. Um, so the modification that we're asking for tonight is this red dashed line. And it's my understanding that this modification can be approved um, under open discussion during a public meeting um, and just reflecting the updated site plan in, in the commission's meeting minutes. Um, before I take any questions, I do want to sort of call out this important note that we added to the plan. Luke has been working diligently with his contractor and they've done a, numerous probes along this path. It's been walked many a time um, and they're feeling fairly confident um, that they're going to be able to apply this new footprint without having um, to do any blasting for ledge. But there are two goals with this footprint. One is to avoid ledge. The other is to avoid cutting any large trees, um, particularly in the riverfront area. And so we are looking for a little bit of variability um, if, in case they have to skirt around a, long, a large tree or skirt around some discovered ledge. Can I say something first, Emily? Sure. So it, from what I understand from talking to the power company, it, the the p the you know the the conduit has to bend. It can't take like hard right and left directions. It has to bend. So that's that's the reason for asking for some leeway because the conduit can only bend so far. And if you're going to bend it up there, you have to start it down here in order to get it to bend around something that is. Um, I've walked it literally three dozen times and marked it off, and I think it's about right. And we shouldn't have to cut down any big trees. But if you find a piece of ledge or whatever to avoid blasting or whatnot, we think we can stay with grade and bring fill in to stay over top of that. We have to be 30 inches above uh, the bottom pipe. They make us put two pipes down there. So I think this is the best fit. Um, and the, the leeway would allow us to be able to bend the pipe around said, said tree or said um, ledge potentially if, and that stuff. So a lot, a lot of it is out to the 200 foot mark of someone's right on it, but it's again, plus or minus no, however many feet. So. Anyway, sorry. No, that's excellent um, detail. Thank you, Luke, for sure. sharing that. Um, and we had discussed that, the need to um, make those adjustments without any sh sharp turns um, in the conduit. So um, I know we're trying for a quick meeting. So I think I'll pause there, Tim, and field any questions that the commission may have for me. OK, um, <clears throat> I'll turn it over to Peter or Bill, um, if you have. Yeah. Hey, Tim, it's uh, Bill Mayer, PC. Uh, I, I just want to say I, I very much so appreciate Emily and Luke for coming on and explaining why um, the leeway is important. Um, I really don't have question. I probably because they explained that. Um, so I, uh, I feel very comfortable with where things are as presented. Pete, do you have any comments? Pete, can you hear me? Oh, there he is. Yep, let's try again. Okay. I'm, I'm between devices. One's working, the other one's not, so sorry about that. <laughs> Nice to see you. Uh, yeah. Um, Emily, could you show on the map just like where the erosion control uh, barriers are going to be, um, especially at the bottom? I think I drove by there yesterday, I believe, and it looks like everything is starting to get set up. But we have plenty of buffer between this area and the erosion control, and it's going to go all the way up around the brook. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct, and that's an excellent, um, an excellent question. So. Um, the erosion controls go along the southerly side of the driveway between the driveway and Clapp Brook. 
The only exception to that is based on the public hearing for the original notice of intent and the special conditions. The commission had asked us to extend erosion controls. Can you see my cursor? Yes. To extend the erosion controls in front to protect this area of um, improvement that we were proposing. So the erosion controls are tight to the driveway but then um, they veer away and are in front of this protected zone for a ways and then shift sort of northernly um, at about flag, I think that was um, B6 that the special condition said, and then they wrap back around to the, um, around the driveway. So the proposed okay. work is further from those erosion controls. The proposed yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah, great. I just want to confirm that there'd be no changes there. Um, and that seems fine. Thank you. So my, my thoughts are parallel bills. Um, basically, it looks like this is a, a good improvement for a number of reasons. One is that um, in the future, if there's any need to go in and redo anything, you won't be um, right up against the brook. Um, there's less chance of water issues developing with the electrical. So um, from my perspective, uh, it's a lessening of impact. So it's a positive for the development. Um, so, and I've spoken with um, uh, Mark Stenson, sorry, I had a long day working outside. Um, and he did clarify that we can we can approve this just with a notation in the minutes saying that we've approved a modification to an existing um, uh, permission for work. So um, I uh, am ready to do that if everyone else is and uh, entertain a motion to that effect. Hi, Tim, as Bill Mayor PCA, I'd like to make an, a motion to approve the modifications um, uh, as provided to us uh, tonight. Um, I don't think I need to say anything else. In a second. Yeah, as Pete Law, I second that. I think you covered it, Bill. <laughs> okay, um, uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, I move the question. Uh, Tim Hilchey, aye. Bill Mayor, PC, aye. Pete Law, aye. Who says we can't have a quick meeting? <laughs> uh, <laughs> is there any, uh, is this phone number up here? Is that you too, Pete? Or is that? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So that, is that I'm a phone number? If technology. I called that number, I would get you? Yes, you would, but as soon as this is over, I'm turning it off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, is there any other th issues that uh, anyone wants to bring up? Just want to say thank you very much for your time and uh, offering to have a special meeting. We really appreciate it. We're off, but it's thank you. We are um, glad we can oblige. And uh, yeah, I know trying to build a house is a stressful thing. And um, I'm sure with your busy lives, um, this will make it easier for our next meeting. It'll be one less thing we have to deal with. So <laughs> we have a benefit as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Emily. Thank, Thank you. You're Thanks, Thanks everyone. Have All a good right. night. Good night. Okay, so um, we'll just have to, uh, we already have a next meeting set. So we'll just have to adjourn the meeting. I, unless anyone else wants to stay around. Uh, so Tim, hey, it's Bill Mayer, PC. I just wanted to make a, uh, a mention that we, at this point, we would not be approving the minutes of the previous meeting because that's not on the agenda. So, yeah. all right. Exactly, so um, thank you for noting that. And we're also not taking up any mail because it's gonna be in the next meeting. Yeah. It looks like it's filling up. So um, next meeting won't be this short, Alex. But that's okay. That's okay. So if everyone's in favor of adjourning, um, I will adjourn, adjourn the meeting at 718. And I will second that, uh, that notion to adjourn. All in favor?
Bill Mayer, PCI. Tim Ilchi, I. Pete Lai. Thank you, gentlemen.